Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about experience. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, this video that you made has stored a lot of hope for me when it comes to the job searching. The common advice for getting experience is to build products and start applying. Is that, is that idea worn out now? How do employer, uh, employers see personal projects when it comes to experience? So, uh, basically what I said to this uh, subscriber was that most developers, well, they overestimate how much personal projects matter. So, I've seen so many really crappy pieces of advice going out to like new software developers regarding personal projects and oh, how to make your portfolio look really nice and portfolio size and this utter utter nonsense that is really only good for one thing and that is to give a freelancer or some one person company type of character developer uh, a thing to show to someone who is more often than not not a serious IT company, and sure, if if you what you're after is to get customers, and usually customers at the lowest end of software development, with the same sort of customers, agencies, eh, and like they usually start at those customers and get a little bit higher than that. But eh, if, if that's what you're after, then sure, go and make a lot of static websites with a lot of emphasis on. Uh, just producing a lot of uh, visually stunning uh, website, uh, websites, but the thing is, when you s when you are looking for a job, like when you're going through the the uh, the process of trying to find a find a role at a serious IT company, work as a, at a product company or something like that, uh, it's really rare that a company considers your portfolio sites real experience they like some of them don't even give a shit honest to god like they don't they will not even check these portfolio sites and the ones that will check it yeah sure it, it that th this is where i'm um, where it gets tricky that's absolutely good but the thing that you should think about is in my opinion at the very least uh, you have to understand that the gold standard for all companies is going to be experience. And what I usually say is that personal projects without any type of substance, it's like wearing a nice shirt to the interview. Sure, you look nice and it's nice that you have a nice shirt on, but it's not going to be the deciding factor to whether or not you get the job. And this is okay that's this that's the thing about experience it's only useful or it's only valuable if it's quality experience and quality experience for a real IT company is usually not you making a simple portfolio site with some basic logic or things like that that's visually visually nice to look at that's something that maybe a customer might buy into but a company that has hired maybe like several if not I mean depending on the size of the company it might be hundreds of developers and they do serious large-scale systems development they're not gonna be very impressed I promise you with you making a few simple portfolio sites with some basic CSS or a little bit of react or a little bit of angular it's uh, sure it's nice but it's uh, it, it has to have a little bit of some uh, substance and I like to say that no one cares about a programmer who makes toys what they're looking for is a is someone that can show that they understand how to do actual software development so this person writes then back to me and says what's the closest thing to getting that experience if you don't have a development background is it contributing to open source so now you're asking that now we're getting into the space of what I like to consider like good projects if you're going to create a portfolio of something there's nothing wrong guys I mean if you're just starting out make portfolio sites for God's sakes like make your own like static websites and so forth because that's where your skills are but you should not think of these things as 
the thing that's going to get you the job because the thing that's going to get you the job is more complicated than that and if you want to stack the deck in your favor and let's say for the sake of argument that you have no prior work experience because as I said that is the gold standard then you need to think about how do I get as close as possible to the thing that real experience is about like and remember now think of it almost as uh, you that you're selling something so what do you want to sell to the employers well the only thing they're really interested in buying usually is relevant coding skills like actual real world serious software development skills and enthusiasm social skills and all of that good stuff right these are the two main things they're interested in. So how do we communicate that we have those skills? Well, making toy projects is going to communicate that you have basic Hello World application uh, uh, bootcamp level experience. But the more serious stuff, the stuff that is closer to what a company does, sure, Open source is an, is an example. You can do freelance work, actual work. You go and actually make these end, like lower end products for serious companies. Even if there, it is a, a small project, it's still actual work experience. You can build real world projects. You can start your own little startup. You can create a web shop or like something real that is actually being used. You can create a CLI, a game. What, it doesn't really matter what it is. It just has to be a serious thing, not something that you know. I've, I've even made a video about it. If I want to make a, a, let's just say for the sake of argument that I want to make a portfolio site, I can if I wanted to, the, in the simplest case, I can literally copy paste pre-made, done static websites and just host them somewhere and say, say that I made them. And I can almost promise you that the vast majority of, uh, of uh, employers, they're not even going to notice that. Like they're not, because I think you've, as I said before, I think most people overestimate how in depth the company is actually going to look at your portfolio. You re so what you want is not to go for quantity. You want to go for quality. Things that really stand out. As I said, know what you're selling. So apart from real world projects, uh, you can start doing competitive coding. That's also something that is like quality over quantity. If you get good ratings in that, or like you get into that. Uh, speaking of ratings, Stack Overflow ratings. You're contributing a lot to Stack Overflow questions and like helping people out and so forth. Uh, you can become a content creator and like sit here and like make videos or whatever. Uh, or you can you know get higher education, things like that. So I hope that the theme of the things that I'm suggesting to you is going through. The goal is not to create a bunch of toys so that y so you have something to show. The goal is to to go for quality, go for quality uh, in uh, learning materials, go for quality um, experience, uh, and build things that actually are close to the thing that you're going to do in the actual job that you're applying to, or at the very least if I'm going to be honest, what the company thinks that you're going to be doing. Because in some cases, I mean, if you're applying to an agency, making small little portfolio size, that's exactly what they are doing. But they want to be like Google in many cases. So they're going to try to hire people that would fit, that are at, <laughs> they are going to try to hire as if they were hiring for Google. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that the best tips that I can give you in terms of how like when it comes to personal projects uh, most people overestimate how important it is with personal projects these are things that are nice to have these are things that the company may or may not look at it's th these are things that you mention in an interview that looks good things that sound good but it's not in many it, most of the time it's not going to be the most important factor the most important factor is always practically going to be experience, skills, social skills, etc, etc. Those pro personal projects and all that stuff, these are things that are relevant, nice to have, and things that might get your CV noticed. But what, and if you're going, if you're making personal projects and stuff, stuff of that nature, always go for quality. Always go for quality. It's better to have one serious project that you can ha that you can have a conversation about, or that stands out, or does something that is not a to-do app, not a static website of a blog or something like that, that where it's just bullshit like lorem ipsum data. 
if you can make something like that, one of those is worth so much more than the like uh, the portfolio, the average portfolio sites. So get into either open source, freelance work, real world products, build serious things that are like intended to be used. Get into competitive coding, be active on Stack Overflow or create programming content, or you know go to college or do higher education. All of these things that raises your mastery of software development this is what you should be focusing on not to sit not, not to create a bunch of personal projects because as I said usually the, a company will look at maybe one or two projects and if you have a hundred so-so projects they're not gonna spend time going through all of them they're not gonna be impressed by how many you made but if the one product you're showing them is a really serious and good product that's gonna stand out have a great day